This is uh, Bryce. I work with Dan at Breakdeal uh, on the SEO or digital marketing side. I just want to make this quick video for you guys and uh, um, let you know what's been happening so far with your SEO and give you an updated analysis and uh, show you what, what happened over month two. So now that we've actually fully completed, or almost fully completed, uh, two full months of SEO on the project, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll dig in here and, and uh, show you what I can see. So, so far uh, in this month, what I've done here is I've uh, uh, executed a few different things. Uh, hyper local citations, where I continue to build out citations. And again, I'll, citations are just simply mentions of your business in a local business directory like Yelp or 411, etc. So um, these, are, these are my work files. I'll go into these later, but most of these will be reflected in the reporting that I'm going to show you as well. So I did some hyper local cit citations. I also uh, set up uh, social foundations for L2H painting. Now, what social foundations are, are there, there's like many, many um, high profile, high authority websites that allow users to create profiles. Uh, and that's what I've done here. Now, every time that I create a profile or I mention your name, address, phone number, uh, an external uh, website that has high authority and link back to, to your own, uh, you actually get a little boost of authority and, and, and go up in the rankings. So uh, that's the purpose behind the social foundations is to create high authority links back to your website. And then lastly, um, I've created a uh, website care report for the L2H website. And this will basically just go through um, what tasks uh, were done to your website to keep it updated, to keep the plugins updated, the software updated, WordPress updated, etc. Um, and we can take a look at this briefly. Um, in fact, we might as well just do that right now. So this will be attached to the email that's uh, that's coming through to you here. And this is for the month of November, what's happened on your website since then, okay? So and as you can see, some plug plugins like in the overview here, plugins have been updated, the theme has been updated, um, the database, post revisions, uptime, site sessions, page views, and backups. So in each one of those is broken down. You can see your, your uh, site speed here, the plugins that were updated, uh, the optimization to the database and the post revisions uh, and the daily incremental backup that is happening to your site just in case anything happens and uh, your uptime, uh, monitoring your uptime so if your site goes down for any reason uh, uh, I'm notified right away. Take a look at that and also your analytics uh, over the last 30 days. And you can see this is when I started measuring analytics last month and you can see what's going on now and we're getting uh, quite good results so far. So um, you can take a look at this report at your leisure and uh, what I want to do now is basically take this work that I've done and see how it actually affects your overall rankings within our audit over here. So within this audit here, I just ran this uh, today um, for L2H painters. Uh, you've probably seen these in the past, but uh, uh, like from us, but I'm actually updating this as of today to show you our current rankings and current citations, etc. So let's start off here with our ranking report. Uh, you can either click here or over in the side margin here, you can expand these or just click on them. So let's go to our ranking report very first. Now, one thing about this ranking report, you can see the various different times I've, I've run this ranking report. It kind of gives you a, a, an aggregate or a, a trend here to see how we're doing. Now, the last time I ran this first report, actually this report is, is comparing November 30th to November 22nd. Normally I only run these reports uh, once a month for a couple of different reasons, but uh, one of them is that we get, it's good to see a full comparison of one month, one month against the other. So, <coughs> excuse me. So even though this is going to be how it, it is sent to you as default, and you can see that rankings are very, very dynamic. They go up, they go down, usually, uh, especially in the, in the beginning, but when we're um, trying to get something ranked, it's usually two steps forward, one step back, and the next month, two step forward, one, one step back. So you can see that there is quite a bit of fluctuation here. But again, this is just comparing um, like the 30th to the 22nd. So I think what would be a fairer comparison uh, is if we compared uh, November 30th to October 31st and give us a full month. Okay, so you can see um, on this report here, so we're comparing this month or uh, November 30th to October 31st, which is one full month. And in that month, we've developed 60 new rankings, 60 new positions on the search engines. One has not changed, 12 have gone down, and 26 have gone up. And you can see here uh, in Google, eight have gone up, nine have gone down, and there's been five new entries. Uh, and that's how you read these charts here. Now, comparing um, today's date against a month ago, you can see that uh, 
we're, we're climbing with a bullet. Um, all of these different uh, search terms, we're creating relevance, we're creating links, we're, we're uh, using these keywords in our copy and in our, in our anchor texts, linking back to your website, and it's obviously having a, having a, a huge impact here. So anytime you see the green arrow going up, that the, it's, it's climbed since the last analysis, uh, the red arrow going down, it's dropped since the last analysis, a plus mark is a brand new listing, and you can see that we're getting lots of listings in, in Google, Google Maps, Yahoo, Bing, and uh, actually there's nothing in, in Bing Local as of yet. And I, I did register a Bing Local business page for you guys and they would have sent you a, a, a postcard with a PIN number. Now, if I can actually get that PIN code or if you need me to have it resent, please let me know because it's best if we can get on Bing Local as well. Um, so yeah, you can go through and, and take a look at these reports. You can see that uh, if you hover over these numbers, for instance, you can see that for interior interior painter Surrey on the Google search engine, you're in position number 25. Now, there's roughly about 10 or 11 uh, positions per page, so basically that just means that we're at, on page three now, as of as of now, for that keyword. Uh, before you had no rankings at, at all. So, and this is not bad. After two months of, of SEO, we're doing actually doing quite well. So, uh, within these reports, you can actually click on the numbers and drill down and then click on view search results page. Now in this instance, it's gonna be in position 25 on page three. It, last month it was on position 31, so we are climbing. And it's to this new page that I created uh, um, pertaining to uh, interior painters. Now if you click on the click uh, view search results page, uh, it'll bring up that exact search with that exact keyword. And uh, it told us that we're on page three. And there you guys are at the top of page three and climbing. So that's how those reports are read, and that's how you can use these and, and uh, see where you guys are for various different keywords. Um, but we're getting tons of new rankings uh, in a variety of different search engines, and it's working well after only two months. So um, that's how this report is read. I'm gonna move on now to the citation tracker. Now again, um, I just keep saying this, the, the, a citation is a mention of your business in the local business directory. Now there's a, um, a group of really high authority uh, citation directories that, that Google specifically pays attention to and those are here on this top citations tab. Now there's uh, 31 uh, top citation sites that we're, that we're after and after two months we're at 45% and we've got 14 of the, of the main ones including your uh, G Plus page, uh, Better Business Bureau link, here's Foursquare, Yelp, uh, Brown Book. So but I noticed actually that you guys' Facebook page has disappeared for some reason. I'm not sure what happened there but Facebook has disappeared um, so part of this process is building out uh, these citations on these high authority sites and within this report you can just simply um, you know, click on, click on the tab here uh, to view the citation for instance. So if I click on that one, this is for Silex and it's just a mention of your business and a profile for your business in that directory. And so even though there's only the 14 of the top 31 displayed here, if you click on the active citations tab you can see all the citations that have been built for your site over time uh, since since beginning this campaign <clears throat> now you can see that in just in the last little while we've developed quite a few new ones and uh, you can just scroll through this list you can even sort by citation authority and get the high, high ones here that we're creating for you um, as well as these ones that are currently live and you can just click on any of these links to go directly to those live citations uh, if you click over here on the pending citations tab, you can see that there are uh, 23 citations here that are in, in the pending state, meaning we have created them and we're waiting for the actual directory to approve the listing and for it to go live. Um, so there's a, a lot of high, high authority citations in here that we've already worked on. We're just waiting for them to actually get approved. Over here on the pending site or potential citations tab, uh, you'll see here are your competitors, like uh, different painting companies that uh, rank within the snack pack on the Google um, map. And here you can see the citations that they have that you necessarily may not have. And what we can do here is we can just go through and kind of reverse engineer and get the citations um, that they have that you do not and, and build out your list and build this up and make sure that we hit all the top ones as well. <coughs> The next tab here is for reviews and ratings, and I got to say you guys are doing a really good job here. We created this G Plus page, and now um, you guys are doing a really good job of driving positive reviews to that page, and that's very, very important. Um, so uh, this um, 
report was run automatically on the 23rd and will, will continue to run on the 23rd of each month. So it doesn't actually reflect the last week of reviews if any new ones have come through. But you guys are doing a really, really good job here of driving reviews. Keep it up because this is a really strong ranking metric and it's really um, has good optics. So make sure that you continue to drive those reviews. The next is your Google Plus page uh, where those reviews were actually left. <clears throat> Google My Business. So this is an analysis of your G Plus page uh, that was created for this for this purpose or for this project. Now here is um, you can see there, uh, this draws directly from your G Plus page, and across here on these tabs are various different keywords that we want this G Plus page or your Google Plus Business page to be found for. So before you weren't being found at all, but now for Interior Painter Surrey, if you click on that tab, you can see that you're in position 22 and climbing. Um, here's your competitors that are in the top 10. Um, same thing with residential painting, uh, also position 23, uh, position 26 for exterior painter Surrey, house painter Surrey, position 20, commercial painting uh, Surrey uh, 31. So just a variety of your keywords and how your page is actually ranking for them. And also, if you scroll down a little bit on this report, I've included or incorporated the uh, Google My Business Insights into this report. And you can see that even just in the last 30 days, how many times your Google Plus page has been viewed on uh, through searches or viewed on maps, um, how people are finding you through direct or through discovery. Also, uh, phone calls that have been placed through the G Plus page. I can see there's two here in this span. Oh, here it is. Okay, so yeah, so here's your customer action, whether they visit your website or call you directly through the page. And already, just that Google Plus page has generated a couple phone calls to you guys and people going to your website. So. It's working really well. Uh, it's starting to climb uh, in, in relevance and in, in the rankings, so we just gotta keep this up. Uh, part of what helps this is, is citation creation, so um, let's keep doing that. Lastly, let's take a look at the uh, Google, or sorry, the local search audit for the actual website itself. Now, this is starting to look a little bit better than it did um, a month ago. Um, again, we just ran this uh, today. Uh, you can see that your on-site SEO is good. Now your Google My Business page is, is good um, and receiving reviews and your reviews and ratings are good overall. Um, I saw that you guys lost Facebook and have no Twitter account and um, didn't, as far as I understand, don't really want us to manage your social media platforms for you, but that's something that you might want to consider. Uh, your local listings, um, uh, again, those are your citations and we're, we're starting to get better rankings here or better results here because we're building out your citations. Um, and all of these things combined, as well as with other strategies, will help us with our search rankings and our, our domain authority. So for each one of these categories, there's the, the full breakdown here. So for link authority, here's this section here. Um, we really do have to work on, on the um, domains that are linking to your, to your website, as well as we have to work on your domain authority. Your average competitor is up around 14 or 15 and you're out at one. So we really do need to work on this. And your website is really, really young as well, um, which is uh, part of the uh, issue because it'll give preference to older websites, more established websites. Search ranking, you can see that we're starting to climb here. We're starting to get some page three results. Um, actually on Yahoo, we got a couple of page one results, which is really good. And uh, Bing, we're kind of hovering around page, well, there's one page one, page five, and we need to work on local. Local, also with your local business listings here, we're building these out. So some of these that we've already worked on are pending and we're waiting for them to become live. Um, so this is something that we always obviously have to work towards. Uh, with the re reviews and rankings, you guys are doing a really good job driving positive reviews, so please keep that up. Uh, Google My Business page, like I said before, um, is doing quite well. So this, this search audit here is more of an, of an amalgam of these other reports as well, kind of brings it all into one picture. Um, the on-site SEO, uh, we have to work a little bit on the page speed, but overall it's quite good. Um, if you look here, all the green lights here indicating that uh, um, where there is no problem at all. The, the SSL layer, it's something that Google is now starting to look at as far as like having the HTTPS or a security layer on your website. Um, you got page titles look good, page descriptions. Uh, let's see here, what else we got? Mobile responsiveness. Physical addresses on every page, the phone numbers on every page, the schema.org integration uh, or that markup language I, I put onto the website. So that's all very good as well. Um, we're being analyzed with Google Analytics. We do need to add, do something about these social channels here and potentially build out those, uh, those as well. 
Um, and then the last section here, the appendix here, is basically just a, 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 a scan or a bot crawl of your website, showing the, your six pages. And uh, if there's any issues regarding those pages, now you can see that each one has unique uh, page title and meta description. And then anywhere where you see like a, a red indicator here is something that we could possibly potentially address to increase our, uh, our relevance. Uh, the word count is a little bit low there, but not um, out of the ordinary. Page speed's a little bit low, but not crazy. Um, and it would be nice if we had a security layer on, layer on the site. But for the most part, it looks pretty pretty good here. There's a couple of like warnings, but nothing critical. Um, and it's looking quite quite good. So now, if you go back to the citation tracking tab, for instance, I just want to show you how how these raw work files kind of work into it. So with this hyperlocal citations report, for instance, if I open this up now, I don't want to get too technical or anything, but I do want to show you that um, this is basically the work file that I that I went from as far as creating uh, you know citations for you in these in these various different directories, for like Brown Book, whatnot, and it shows the the live link. Uh, as well as this month's work, um, where we added a whole bunch of hyper-local citations as well. Uh, these ones are all currently live, all those are currently live, and these are currently in the pending state here. But uh, instead of worrying about looking at this report, you can just go right back to your citation tracker report here, and here's your active citations that have been imported all of these, and all of these are live there. So they've all been brought into this report, and the, the ones that are still pending, are, have been brought in, into this report as well, and we're waiting for them to become approved. So again, the citation building and hyperlocal citations, it's incredibly important for your SEO. Um, so I just wanted to let you know and see the work files and that we're on the job. Um, secondly, I want to talk to you about social foundations. Now, social foundations, as I mentioned before, it's just like there's many, many different websites out there that allow us to make profiles and put our business information or links from that high authority website, in fact this column here is domain authority, you can see for instance that um, even though some of these websites may not be 100% relevant to um, painting, it doesn't really matter. What I'm after is a link from a uh, domain of high authority. So for instance on this on this directory here, let me just open up this link here, show you one of them. So yeah, so in this in this business directory, we created um, um, a profile for L2H paintings, and, and basically what these are called are these are called not like unstructured citations. So it's not as structured as as regular citations, but they are profiles that were left with very high authority websites linking back to your own with a, with a link to your website, and that's what these social foundations are all about. Um, basically, just creating properties. Uh, with your name, address, phone number of your business in high authority websites that link back to, to your own. Um, so that's the basis of the social foundations and this is the work that was done this month in that in that regard. Okay, so I think the last thing we need to look at here would be um, how to read this Google Analytics tab. So by going to that tab, this actually pulls in the data directly from the Google Analytics account that I created for this project. Um, and you can see here, um, the number of sessions, the, the unique users that have come each month, how many pages have been viewed, um, and this is in the last 30 days. You can also see like yeah, the number of sessions. You're getting between like 10 and uh, 20 unique visitors to the website per day at this time. Um, obviously we're working to increase that. Um, they spend an average of 1 minute 14 seconds on the site. The bounce rate is a little bit high. Maybe we should uh, work on the home page a little bit and create more engagement on that home page to reduce your bounce rate. Um, but yeah, you can go through these analytics at any time and um, just take a look where you are. It's all live and in real time. So you can um, check that and it's, it's current as of this moment, all this data. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, after only two full months of SEO, you guys are doing really well as far as your rankings and your overall profile and, and relevance in the search engines. So um, if you have any questions, uh, just ask Dan and uh, uh, we'll, we'll do our best to answer them. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.